These were the scenes in Manchester in May. People turned up to vote in the general election at this polling station, but got turned away after the polls closed at 10 p.m. We need to be able to vote. We were here before 10 o'clock. Similar scenarios occurred in Sheffield, Newcastle and parts of London. The official elections watchdog has now called for a number of changes to be made to the system. One of those is bringing photographic ID to the polls. Currently, only voters in Northern Ireland are required to present some form of photographic identification when they go to vote. Peter Stanion, who's the chair of the Association of the Electoral Administrators, says the current system does need changing. The system is, is an old system. It needs updating. We would fully support the types of changes being um, suggested, but with the caveat they need to be done properly, need to be staged and need to be correct before they're rolled out. Other findings of the report include improving the postal voting system. More than 220,000 of the more than 5 million postal votes cast were disqualified. The Cabinet Office say they welcome the Electoral Commission's report and that they'll look into the recommendations, something Peter Stanion hopes they follow up. Very disappointed nothing does move forward from here. Um, the Commission, the AEA, the Cabinet Office, who now have responsibility for elections, need to work in partnership to take this forward with the Coalition Government to make sure that what we get at the end of it is a system that voters can trust.